Hello Cinema Geeks. Today I'm going to show you the LCD glasses and go over a bit of, about how they work. Uh, these are the expand glasses. These are the old ones. And the very recent newly released version of the expand 3D glasses. Much more stylish and actually quite a much better design in many ways. Just quickly over the main advantage of them um, is that these ones are auto on and off so you don't have to do anything or well, these ones you used to need to hold them very firmly here you have to hold them quite tightly if you go up to them you might see them when I turn them on hold it very tightly and then they go they start flying away these ones turn on and off automatically so you can't really test them like that but you do have um, this device that you get from Expand for testing the glasses for, for, of course um, the old ones didn't have um, the battery was built in while the new ones you can see here you can replace the battery through this section here and this is a test system so you can make sure that the glasses are okay before you give them to your customers you push the little button here and the red light goes on and um, actually there they go you can start seeing them flashing I'm not sure Maybe you can see them flashing. They flash at a very noticeable rate. You can probably see it through my head there. There you go. Look at them go. And that's the testing system for the, the for the glasses. Put them down. And um, these ones, like before, they probably turned off already. I have to squeeze them to turn them on. There they go. Yeah, well, they work for a bit, but that's how, how that all works. Push the button on this again to turn it off. Now, the main, the main advantage of these ones, apart from the auto turn off, is these are much more suited for children, which um, is probably one of the most common cl clients or customers that you'll have for 3D in the future. They're much more flexible here, etc., to hopefully hold on to the uh, children's heads or the old ones didn't seem to work as well in our experience and these ones look a whole lot better so yeah that's expand 3d now uh, quickly uh, I'll go over my opinion of the expand system in my opinion it's it's the best of 3d systems mainly because um, uh, it has the least amount of light loss uh, for example Dolby is 40% of the light from the projector gets to the eye it's very very low of course you can start with 50 because your two eyes um, through through one projector so split it in half of 50 and then you've got the extra loss for each system has a certain amount of loss um, uh, you have polarizing um, linear polarizing is pretty good then the circular polarizing is a bit worse and Dolby is the worst of all and this is the best of all uh, in terms of light loss so you don't really need to buy nearly as big a projector and spend nearly as much money on your projector but currently the glasses cost a killer and uh, that's your biggest problem but then again Dolby's glasses aren't cheap either but these are still considerably more than Dolby uh, but quality wise um, I find this is probably the best in terms of uh, for example the Dolby because it uses that special system where it filters certain frequencies of light out from each eye so basically each eye is actually seeing different frequencies from red blue and green uh, but roughly to make up the picture but it's something that your brain has never dealt with before and it's probably more likely to give you a headache than than this system which is basically a, um, just a, 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 a downgrade in the light now they all have flashing so flashing is a common reason you have uh, head, the headaches and the, all the systems do that so um, there's not much you can do about that um, although Dolby with two projectors would be good here is an example of the expand system in action here is a scene from the bulk 3d film as you can see you can see both images for two eyes and then i put the expand glasses in front of the video camera it takes a while for it to adjust to the new light levels but you can now see only one of the two pictures and you will also note that the cross torque is very low if, if non-existence it is the best cross talk i've seen out of all the 3d systems